of Conversations with Eki. My name is Eki and I'm your host. Conversations with Eki is a talk show that I host here on my YouTube channel where I have like chats with individuals that are striving in their careers and in their businesses. Today's guest is Tenny Oluwo. She is a non-conformist fashion stylist, fashion influencer and the owner of Star Territory and the Rad Culture. I'm so excited about this particular shoot because she is extremely good at what she does, guys. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to learning and learning from her journey. So guys, let us meet Tenny. So guys, um, Tenny is here. Tenny is here. Yay! So let's meet Tenny. Tenny, thank you so much for coming to my talk show. Thank, thank you for you. being here. Thank, thank you for, for creating me. the time. I mean, I know you're so busy, and for you to have created this time, I'm so I'm so honored. Thank That's you so much. Thank, thank you. So much. you. Thank All you right. for having me. Thank you so much. Yeah. So guys, um. We know your name is Tenny, yeah. but we want to know more about you. So, can you right. tell us a bit about yourself? Can you tell us a background? Tell us, like, you can even share with us like a fondest childhood memory, but we really just want to meet you. We want to know you. So, share right. with us. Okay. Hi, guys. My name is Tenny Oluwo, like she said. Yes. And um, who am I? I feel like, I don't feel like, I know that the essence of my being is God. Mm -hmm. I'm a Christian, and that yeah. makes up, like, the complete part of who I am mm -hmm. and um, yes I'm a Christian I love God and I love fashion as well yes I'm very do. yeah I love fashion <laughs> yo yes. I feel like I've loved fashion all my life because yeah. my dad and my mom are so into fashion and um, mostly my dad but my mom is very fashionable as well mm -hmm. and they influenced us and you know yeah. brought us into this world of fashion and yeah. i'm very family oriented i'm very close to my family members those are like my best friends and i've loved fashion like i feel like in every school i've attended mm -hmm. i was known for fashion more than i was known for academics <laughs> but we thank god you yeah. turned out well you know so yeah that's just like who i am so what do you god, do for fun? fashion that's a valid question. Yes, <laughs> because you're always working, so like I really want to know what you do behind the scenes. Like, that's what a you do valid before? question because um, work. Is work love, fun? I know work is fun, but like apart from working, mm -hmm. what do you do to relax? More work. Wow. I love my job so much, and contrary to what people think, I'm very introverted. People look at my style and they think, oh, I love yep. going out, oh, like yeah, I'm yeah, out yeah. there. I'm not out there. I'm very private. I'm very introverted. When I'm not working, I'm at home, maybe watching a movie. Yeah, I love watching movies. Yes, yeah, yeah I really love watching good. movies. That's one. I love karaoke as well. My <laughs> voice is not Beyonce-like, but I do love karaoke. Okay. I like hanging out with my sister. I don't have a lot of friends. Uh, yeah, but my sister is like my best friend. Um, yeah. yeah, and I have few friends, very few friends. Um, yeah, maybe movies and karaoke. I like talking as well. Okay. A lot of people don't know that, but if I'm close to you, I talk a lot. Mm -hmm. But if I'm not close to you, I'm just quiet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. I like talking. Yeah. So talking, movies, and karaoke. karaoke. Yeah. So that's fine. So where did you school? Like primary okay. school, secondary school. Where did you go? Um, where are you from? I'm from the world. <laughs> I'm, I'm Nigerian, I'm Yoruba, I'm okay. from Ogun State. Oh, um, really? Yeah, I grew are up... Are I am! We are sisters! I have, I have sweaty palms. I'm always telling people don't shake me because I have sweaty palms. Yeah, but you can shake me. Yeah, we are sisters. No way! We are. You're from Ijebu as well, your husband. Ijebu, which one? Ijebu Ode? Um, um, Ijebu Ayepe. So that's very I'm close to deep, 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 deep. I'm from Ijebu Ode. Oh, My dad okay. is from Ijebu Ode, mm. so... By, by yeah, nature, yeah, I'm from, from Ijebu Ode as well. Okay. But I grew up in Ibadan. Okay. I grew up in Ibadan. Um, I schooled, my secondary school was in ISI. My okay. uni was in um, Owen. Oh, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. What did you study? Mass communication. Okay. Yeah. I wanted to study law. No, I didn't want to study law. My dad wanted me to study, study law. law. But um, mass com was like the only way out for me. It was yeah. either, yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. So Thank I mean, I've, I've known you better now, like. Yeah. <laughs> yes, because I didn't, I thought you were from because you're always talking about Ibadan. So I actually thought you were from. 
Ibadan. Well, from all your states, you know. No, so it's but, interesting to yeah, know but that I'm you're from Ijebu. I'm more from Ibadan than Ijebu because I lived in Ibadan. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So that's interesting. So Thank can you, you. <laughs> can you tell us um what do, what do you do? Like, what does your company do, and what do right. you do for your company? Right, so my company is like an extension of me. Yeah. Um, we do like fashion styling mm -hmm. for um, people who want uniqueness and people who want to stand out for distinct people. Yeah. I style only distinct people. Yeah. You know. We know. <laughs> <laughs> Meaning, it could be anyone as long as you want something different, yeah. as well, as long as you want something extraordinary. Then I'm the girl for you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> then um, yeah. I do fashion influencing as well yeah. to be honest a fashion influencing started because people started approaching me to wear that you know that's how i met you that's how yeah, we started talking true. way back in 2015 i was still working at my nine to five and i mean i've been following you for the longest time right. and then i sent you a message that oh please can you wear an Akiris? because you were so warm oh my Aww. god you were so warm and i sent you <laughs> thank you so much and i sent you um i think i sent you a striped pants and that's how we started. That's how we started. Really? Yeah. Wow. It was in 2015. Yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So people started approaching me. That's like, like oh, I did. Yeah. So can you wear this? Can you wear that? Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, okay. I love fashion, so I don't mind. As yeah. long as it's an extension of fashion, I really yeah. don't mind. Yeah. So, but I'm so passionate about my job. I'm so passionate about what I do. Yeah. And most importantly, I'm very passionate about it looking different you know and out of the box mm -hmm. like that's where my fulfillment is from not really about who i style but it's about what we create well that means there's a lot of thought there's a lot of mental creativity that goes into your work because just look you know what <laughs> you know you're so different that like if i see someone that i just see someone like, this person has to be styled by style Aww. and i feel like i'm not i i'm not the, if i'm thinking this other people are thinking this as well right. because your work is so good like you right. are so good I, I can only imagine because because you know I'm into fashion as well, so yeah. I know the work that goes into just trying to create a design and actually mm -hmm. a big design, a brighter design for a guest. So and that is always so regular. But compared yeah. to yours, it's so different. Well thank done. you, thank you. That <laughs> so, makes my heart so glad yeah. because um, people actually just tag me, and yeah. even before they see my name, they're like, "Oh, well, sure, this yes, is that." Well, yes, and exactly. that gives me so much fulfillment, you know, and. Because a lot of work goes into my a job. Lot of work. It, it literally almost all my life. Mm -hmm. Like I'm just thinking, what's the next thing? Mm -hmm. And for someone like me, I move on so quickly. Mm -hmm. Like when I do a job, even if it goes viral or whatever, and people are like, oh my god, this is nice. Mm -hmm. I've moved on from it. Mm -hmm. So there's a constant need for aiming higher. There's a constant need for doing something more excellent. Yes. You know, there's no stopping. You know, but and that's why I don't joke with God because God is the only inexhaustible source yeah. of wisdom, of inspiration, of strength. Because in of this everything, of everything, because in this business, you need a lot of strength, you need a lot of inspiration. Because if Thank not, you. you're just gonna be zapped out. You know, God is the one who renews my strength. God, and sometimes I'm like, oh, I'm so tired, like, I don't even think this idea bangs. But when God's grace rests upon something, it brings beauty to it. So I, I would say, thank say you. Again. When God's grace rests Rest upon something, something, it brings beauty, beauty to it. it. I would say, beautiful. thank you. My work is beautified by God. You know, God brings honor and grace and favor mm -hmm. to everything I do. And that's how they turn out the way they do. Yeah. I'm in partnership with God, yes. you know, and that's why God is your partner. <laughs> Jeez, literally having good bombs, yeah. you know. And that's why I cannot, because I know God is my partner, I can't afford to do anything less, less. than excellent. You know, I can't afford to bring anything less than my best because God is involved in it, yeah. you know. So for I'm bring I have to bring the best so you to have God. To bring the best. You know, I have, back it up exactly. Like you can't yeah. a million times zero is zero. Mm -hmm. So even if God is a million, you cannot afford to be zero. At all. So and that's why I put like my all into this business because God is my partner. Yeah. And yeah, we can see it because Thank it's not you. just <laughs> we can Thank see you. it. Uh, I know you. you you're always talking about God. I always love to, love to look at your story because Thank every you. day there's a word uh, from God for oh, us. Like Thank so. You. I know, like, because this life, you know, there's just so many challenges up and down. If mm -hmm. you can, you're one of the people that I look at, I, 
always love to look at their stories because oh, there's something you. it's not just regular apart from your work you know you miss you mix your work with god so your work with your your work is like your work with god i don't know if mm. i'm saying it right but, right <laughs> but so that's just that's me like i'm i'm very i'm always blessed by your post and i know that a lot of other people also are blessed by your post because see i've got to the point in my life where i don't want to be consuming rubbish so mm. like i want my mind my soul to so I want the things that I consume to edify myself, like mm. to edify my soul. So I just I and your post, your your page is one of the pages that I go to to get that from. So thank, thank you. you. <laughs> I don't know if I said this before to you, but yes, oh. like I learned a lot from you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank please. you so much. Thank so, you. I appreciate yeah. So I wanted to talk about your your brand. Is it a one man gang or? you have like people that work with you i know that you of course will do most of the creative thinking and the mm -hmm. ideas but you have like people that work with you to to bring out this massive beautiful designs that you bring right. out okay so my team and yeah. the people i work with okay one of the things i'm working a lot on this year yeah. is to be less of a perfectionist I'm such a perfectionist, Lord. Like even when I'm paying people to do something, yeah. I'm still very much involved in it. Yeah. So my because it's your brand. I mean, you yeah. Your brand. I just want to be on top of everything. Yeah. But I've learned that you can't do everything yourself. Of course, I've, I have like assistants who help me on set. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, my client needs to wear this. They're helping me maybe whilst I'm fixing something. And on set, I'm not the boss. I'm working as well. Yeah. I, I, my face is probably faster than anyone else I'm working with. Yeah. So I do the fabric selection myself. Yeah. I'm on top of whoever is making it. Mm, it has yeah. to be perfect and excellent. That um, is a lot of work pulling up on. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> And I don't mind say, hey, when it comes to my business, I'm not looking like this. I'm like all tomboyish, <laughs> like ready. Yeah, you should dig it, go down, down. Ready to <laughs> dig it all. I don't joke with work, yeah. you know, and on set. The only way people can really help is on set when I have to carry this mm. or carry that. So I'll say that's when, this dress. Yeah, know. that's when my assistants come in. But the creative process is usually God and I, to be honest. Mm. Yeah, so mm. but let me just add this year I'm I'm working on letting people help. Like actually letting people I'm paying do their jobs Job. and I'm not like so into it. Yeah. Because, because yeah, it makes your life easier. Because I mean you're paying them so let them do their work. Yeah, and it makes expansion possible. Yeah. Because when I'm traveling, if I'm always doing everything myself, mm -hmm. then I'm interrupting the structure I'm trying to put yeah. in place. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Alright, so um what inspired you to do this? What inspired you mm. to be a fashion stylist? What inspired me to be a fashion stylist? The truth is, I would always say I'm bringing God back, guys. No, you guys, <laughs> don't be tired. Like you're going you, to hear you this be from tired, the beginning though. to the end, and you will get you. You will become you, born again. Amen, <laughs> amen. That's the point. Oh, Lord, so yeah. I would always tell people that my path is and was orchestrated by God. To be honest, I didn't know anything was called a fashion stylist. I didn't know there was any mm. occupation like that mm. until I got my first job as a fashion stylist. I learned the word on the job. On the job. Okay. You know, I've always loved fashion. I've always known I would work in fashion. I did not plan. I did not have a backup plan. <laughs> you it know, was it. it was it. I knew this was what I wanted to do with my life, like yeah. from a young age, from even before fashion became a thing yeah because my dad would always say oh, fellow maron sholabe bridge it means like you want to start sewing underneath the bridge oh. because as, as at that point i finished school 2009 i finished uni 2009 and at that point not a lot of people no, fashion was not like this no, you know like this. Uh, that would be like no you have to work you, yeah. you need a re reputable job and everything i'll be like oh okay mm. i'll just say i've not found a job <laughs> i've not found, found a job even if i'm not looking you know <laughs> I just knew deep down that God was going to come through for me. And I remember very vividly, there was a day I was in the room and I was praying very fervently. I didn't have a job. I was praying, praying very fervently and I was telling God, like, in all the schools I've attended, I've always been a popular girl. Like, yeah. people have always known me. I've always been somebody. Yeah. And now in life, it feels like I'm nobody. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't have a job. I don't have anything. Yeah. I remember I was just crying, like, yo, God, you need to come through for me. Yeah. 
I remember, and this is why I don't joke with God because God loves me like irrevocably. I remember three days after that day, someone called my sister looking for me. And this is why it's important. You always have to embody your passion. Mm. Everywhere you go, they need Showing. to know what you're about. Yeah. You know, you always have to be vocal. Mm. They, they always say, closed mouth is a closed destiny. It is. You get me? Like, you're doing something. Open your mouth. Yeah, you always I'll have show to open you your, your mouth. Your dressing or something. I didn't have a job. I didn't have anything in quotes at that point but yeah. i would dress nice whenever i meet anyone you'll be tired of me <laughs> because i'll be talking to you about yeah. passion mm. and i was prepared mm. you know i was prepared for the you know, opportunity for the, to come thank you i heard something and it stuck with me ever since it's um a champion was not made in the ring a champion mm. was only discovered in the ring meaning before to, the day of preparation you have to prepare up to that time so this person called my sister and she was like oh she's looking for me mm. that when she met me that was going on and on about fashion yes. and there's a job mm. opening that she wants me to go for till this day i don't remember ever meeting this baby wow. i don't remember anyways mm. i went for the interview but in my head, I'm like, I'm not going to get this job because I didn't have any experience. experience. You know, the people there, they had like 10 years mm. experience, 7 years experience. Me, eh. <laughs> I was just going, but guess what? Because yes. I was so, like, I was in love with fashion. I would always like, every recent mm. thing about fashion, I mm. knew it. So when it was finally my turn, in my head, I felt like I wasn't going to get the job. So I wasn't nervous. I wasn't yeah. scared. I was literally just gisting with yeah. the interviewers and telling them, like I do yeah. to everyone I've met. I was telling them about my passion, about how I love this fashion and everything. Yeah. So I'm sure they saw the passion and the driving, the way you, you were talking. I mean, I just spoke like I would always speak mm -hmm. and I went home, you get me. So um, the second day, they called me that I got the job. So in my head, I'm like, okay, I'm probably going to be an intern. Yeah. Guess what? I was the fashion editor. Like, I literally had the wow. highest job. And at that point, I was so young. So, I was the boss of people with like yeah. seven, seven years, years experience, experience, all the things. That's just God's grace. And they said, okay, wow. so you're going to be the fashion stylist. As a fashion editor, you will be a fashion writer, a fashion stylist. You get me? And we were creating like original content. I've never done anything like this before. So I've never heard of anything called a fashion stylist. That's when I googled who a fashion, fashion stylist. <laughs> and the money they were paying me back then, I'm like, God, I'm dangote now. <laughs> like, girl, I'm so rich oh now. <laughs> you know, wow. they were giving me like transportation allowance yes. and all these things. And this was 2010 or 20, 2000. This was 2012. 2012. Yeah. Yeah. So I finished school 20. Um, 2009 finished mm -hmm. seven 2010 mm -hmm. this was 2012 mm -hmm. you know so yeah, yeah yeah that's how my career in in fashion, fashion started. started that's how i got into the industry mm -hmm. you know yeah and looking and back like that like yeah years. looking back i've just seen how god planned everything out so mm -hmm. you have to be ready mm -hmm. sometimes we can hit rock bottom but it doesn't mean God has left you. It's just a time of preparation. Do not lose hope. Yeah. Plan for who you want to be. Like in your mind, in your life. Yeah. Like be your future. Yeah. You embody your dreams. Yes. You always have I to I hope be you're there. learning because me, yeah. I'm just here soaking up <laughs> the knowledge. Everything. Yeah. And never yeah. give up. Like God is so real. Mm -hmm. Grace is so real. It's mm -hmm. insanely real. Anything is possible. But you have to be prepared. You have to be prepared. Like... Mm -hmm. Like you know, there's you know the story in the Bible where was it that lady, that woman that didn't, was it the widow, that woman that didn't have anything, and she went to Oh yeah, it's the, yeah, yeah, the widow that that um, it was flowing, the oil kept on flowing. Exactly yeah. that particular story, mm -hmm. you know. Like my pastor would say, if you want, you know, when you're praying, God bless the work of my hand, God bless the work of my, hand, you have to have something your in your vessel, hand, you know, yes. for God to bless. So you have yeah. to be ready. You have to be ready. So if you're yeah. watching this video, just know that whatever it is you're doing right now. Keep doing it. Prepare. Yeah. Be ready. So that when the big break comes, when the opportunity comes, when God sends your helper, mm. basically, you, you will be ready and your helper will be ready to help you. Basically. Yeah, and yeah. another thing I've learned, God doesn't invest in lazy people. What? You know, God does not. <laughs> even the devil mm. doesn't use lazy people. Mm. So how much more God? God. Do you understand? And I've, 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 um, I've gotten this mindset. I'm not waiting for a helper. I am the helper. So I have to grab my destiny because there are people I need to help. There's a generation depending on me. 
you know i am the helper yeah. I, i'm not waiting for no one i am the one people are waiting for so i have to step into my destiny and make sure that the generation waiting on me are not disappointed yeah Tony. <laughs> yeah. I'm learning so much from you right Thank now. You. So Tony, can mm -hmm. you like tell us some of the challenges you faced so far in in your business, like in right. running your business? I know there are so many challenges, but there are people that are watching this video right now and want to learn from mm -hmm. your journey. So can you like share with us some of the challenges that you faced mm -hmm. so far? Oh. <laughs> okay, I would say to him, much is given, mm -hmm. much is expected. Yeah. And um, I feel like oppositions are like the the steps to greatness. Mm -hmm. You know, without op oppositions, there, there are no like you know there are no blessings. Yeah. You get me? There's no greatness without opposition. Without opposition. The first thing um, I have to learn in a really hard way is full self awareness. Okay. Do you understand? In the sense that when I started in the industry. Not so many people were doing avant-garde stuff. And when I say avant-garde, I yeah. mean like different, edgy, mm -hmm. very edgy, yeah. you know. And then people would always like laugh at me, mm -hmm. you know, laugh at my job. People would always be like, oh, I'm dressed like a masquerade. Mm -hmm. Why do you look like this? Is this so mad? Okay. Like, this one style like this. Abyss, abyss <laughs> madness, you know. I would literally go out. People would be pointing at me and laughing at me. If you're not strong for the from within mm -hmm. it can deter yeah, you definitely. Do, do you understand it can discourage you it yeah. can make you re-evaluate like your, your own your essence everything. especially when that's how you flow mm -hmm. like for me i don't know any other way that's how i flow but and that's where god comes in god is truth yeah. god is light you know and when you have god you see like you see things crystal clear you don't need anybody even when you don't need whatever. anyone's validation Not because all. the god the truth god is not even the god of truth he is truth you know i carry truth inside of me i carry light inside of me and that was how i was able to like overcome that stage and i'm just gonna say this to encourage people when you have big dreams people are gonna try to discourage you not because they loathe you but because they don't understand and there's an opposition to what people don't understand you you are the bearer of your dreams you're the protector of your dreams you know you have to guard it with everything you have even when people don't understand so that was quite tough yeah because for years I didn't have clients and sometimes I'm human it will feel like oh, Abby, am I doing rubbish? Do you understand? Know, what am I doing? Do I really look like a masquerade? But God just kept on encouraging me and I, I kept on I kept at it. I was just blind to everyone else, you know, and I faced God and my job completely. And guess what? That madness has put me on vogue. I've been featured yes, in God, man, not twice. Not not twice. twice. <laughs> you know, and yeah. It will make sense at last, mm. even if it doesn't make People sense. People will come it. along, they will understand yeah. it eventually. And a lot of times, you're just ahead of the curve, mm. you're just ahead of your so years. So, you don't blame them because they don't get it, they don't know? get it, you know. But they'll catch on now. People mm. say, Oh, now we get it. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> Trying to farm you, you know. <laughs> you know? So, yeah. if, if I let them kill my dreams, I don't know where I'll be now. The second thing I would say that is still very much a challenge is getting like-minded people to work oh, with you oh. yeah in terms of like okay i want my client to wear this dress mm. and i get something completely it's different, different. You know, so they're not able to execute your thought the way you yeah, want Yeah, I don't sew myself, so mm. I have to work with people. Yeah. And a lot of times, people don't have integrity a lot of times. Mm. Maybe disappointment with timelines mm. or, you know, getting something Saying they will be able to execute and then they do rubbish. They do rubbish and it affects me yeah. because my client doesn't care about who is doing rubbish care, or not. Like, like they, they trust in me. But I'm so grateful to God because I've never been stranded. You know, mm. God always comes comes up with another plan for me not to be ashamed and that's another reason I'm in love with God I'm never stranded you know so that's another challenge and yeah why you just work with people generally ah. like dealing with people ah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you require know. a lot of patience you know yeah and sometimes it's not every day yes I'm very busy but it's not every day I get jobs 
we understand sometimes like when when it's slow i'm like okay so what's going on but mm. that was before when i first started but now i've completely come to terms that i'm loved by god mm. and my life is ruled by god and i'm in god's hands i'm what fully backed and protected <laughs> you know so everything i need yeah. is supplied i live in abundance you know so my my fulfillment is not based on what i can see it's mm. based on what god can give me yeah. so i've come into a place of total rest now so i'm just saying like the challenges just, from yeah. when i started to now because and it's not i mean you're saying it very easily da, da, da. well it not happen like that so. yeah it took me years to yeah. understand like a lot of things it took me some time for god to teach me a lot of things and i'm just glad that i'm, I'm yeah. here now and another challenge I have, yeah. because I work a lot, sometimes mm -hmm. I don't know how to pace myself. Oh. You know, I'm a workaholic. So sometimes I don't know when to just take a, a break. Yeah, you're just going and going. Yeah, and because of that, I don't have a social life. It's good to have a balanced life, you know, not just work. Yeah. You know, and that's one thing I'm working on this year, to have, to have a balance, to have a social life and work and stuff like that. So, Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so, um, what will you say um, has been responsible for your success so far? I mean, you've been on this journey since 2012. Mm. It's a long time. So, right. and you've grown. Like, you've grown. You've been featured in international space. You know, you are. You know now. So, mm. can you tell us <laughs> what will you say? Um, of course, God. Yeah, but what will you say has been responsible for your success so far? Yeah. So of course God, yeah. and the thing is, like I said in the beginning, God does not invest in lazy people. God does not invest in lazy people. Yo, I've got <laughs> integrity. Yeah. Anyone that has worked with me, they mm. know. Once you pay me, you can go to sleep. Do you understand? Mm. I'm not that kind of person that you pay and you be calling. Mm. Where How are far? you? How far? Mm. Da -da -da -da. Like when my clients pay me, they are going to do their job. Like they can just go and sleep. Some people don't even call me for fitting. They don't even see what they're wearing to the day of the shoot because they have total trust in me. And that that has come from years of delivering. Mm. You know, I I put it I like I put that burden on myself to yeah. always deliver. I'm excellent. You know, I'm an asset to everything I'm involved in. I'm very excellent. I'm like there's a standard yeah. I must you meet. You must meet it. You know, so you it's not easy at all. because it takes everything in everything. you. Everything. Everything in you. And sometimes even if you're stressed, even if you're sick, you have to put even in your best. Even if you have to spend more than you bargain, mm. because when some people mess up, you have to maybe improvise. Yeah. You know, and lose your profit. It's not about money for me. I've realized that when you're excellent, money will come. Hmm. Money is the spirit, and it works with the spirit of excellence as well. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're hardworking, yeah, I, I would, if I just say so myself, I'm very hardworking. I, I'm not even waiting for anybody to, to, give, tell you. to give me my flowers. <laughs> they are my flower. <laughs> to understand, I'm very hardworking. Yeah. I have an excellent mind. You know, I crave for uniqueness. You know, it's not easy, but it has to be done. I pray for uniqueness. Yeah. I do not settle. I'm yeah. never going to settle. It's not possible. So I feel like it's when you do good. this yeah, consistency. thing, co consistency is important. Yeah. It's not about doing one good thing one time, Next going time to bed. Do bad. That has to be your life. Yeah. You know, you need to live a life of consistency, of excellence. Yeah. You know, and I feel like that has been my life, and it has helped me. People, when people say I'm successful, I'll be like, hey, I'm successful, okay. <laughs> because, yeah, yeah. I, I do this job because I sincerely love, love it. it. Yeah. You know, it's not even, money is not my m motivation to be, I love money, don't get me wrong. <laughs> I love money, I we love soft you. life. We are you. Know? <laughs> I, have to, I love soft life, I love yeah. to travel, I like good things, you know. But my, my main motivation is the love and passion I have for this job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, and me. God would always reward you. Yeah, life once you would have, even yes, reward once you do, once you do your part, you're hardworking, you put yeah. in the work. God yeah. would bless you. Okay, what gives you the most satisfaction being an entrepreneur, doing this thing that you're doing, fashion styling, influencing people, creating impact? Like, what gives you the most satisfaction? Um, I feel like one of the things um is the freedom. Yeah, the freedom. Um, um, the way I flow, you yeah. cannot box me in. At all. You know, I, I, like, it's not like I'm unruly. 
but I'm a non-conformist. Mm -hmm. So I love the freedom. I love the freedom that my life is on my terms. Mm -hmm. Of course, in alignment with God. God. Yeah. My life is on my terms. I can do what I want to do. Mm -hmm. I can create like how I want to create. Mm -hmm. And one of the biggest blessings in my life is that God brings me clients that trust me and allow me to be me even yeah. when they're paying me. Yeah. You know, that's a big blessing, big, big blessing. Big so one. the freedom to flow how I am, you know, the freedom to truly express how I want to. I don't have to like change yeah. for, for acceptance, you know, it, it's a big blessing. Yeah. I love that. And another thing that gives me so much satisfaction is seeing how beautifully my work mm. comes together. Very it's, beautiful. You know, <laughs> it's seen how the, the joy my clients have, you know, after mm. they see like the finished work mm. and everything. So yeah, that gives me a lot of satisfaction. And that I can live an amazing life yeah. without compromise, you know, yeah. without any type of compromise. I can retain my honor. I can mm. love God. You know, I can do, I can wake up every day to yeah. do the job I so much love. Yeah. You know, it gives me a lot of satisfaction. Yeah. Okay. And I can meet people. I meet amazing people. Yeah, she does. Hey, every time. Like me. Like, like Eki. <laughs> okay, you know, so can you share with us what your future plans and aspirations are for Style Territory and for your brand? Yeah, I say this every time and I started saying it even before I became this, yeah. that God did not make me a local champion. God hmm. made me a global champion. You know, I'm not for Ni I'm from Nigeria, yes. but I'm not for Nigeria alone. I'm for the world. You know, so I can't wait um, to see to be where God has said for me to be. Yeah. To truly impact the world. Yeah. You know, aside from fashion, I love talking. I love inspiring people. I can't wait to do this on a global scale. You know, so yeah. Okay, all right. So, Tenny, uh, thank you so much. Oh, I've, I've you. enjoyed this I, I, interview. We're done. No, we are not done, guys. No, we are not that's done. Too short. No, we are not done. Like, we, we need to revolve. <laughs> we are not done. So, what um, what is the biggest advice you're going to give to someone that's watching this video right now? Someone that is looking to go into the the fashion industry and also want to be a fashion stylist. You know, like what advice are you going to give to them? I would say um, understand who you are, understand what you want, mm -hmm. and when you do, yeah. go after re relentlessly. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what situation is available in the industry mm -hmm. or where you live or whatever, anything is possible. Anything is possible with yeah. God. With God, of yeah. course with God. You yeah. should know this by now. <laughs> with God, because you yeah. can't even truly understand who you are like to the highest mm. capacity without God. God. You know, so once you understand that, go after your dreams relentlessly. Life will create a space for you. Mm. Life always creates a space for authenticity. Mm. So you have to be authentic. You have to be original. original. You have to strive for excellence. Never give up. See, anything is possible. Anything is possible. possible. There's nothing impossible in this life. Life shifts eh, mm. for people who do not give up. So it doesn't matter what you what you're, what you're doing, doing right now, yeah. who you are, where you live, your financial situation. You can become anything you want to be. I know you hear it a lot of times, yeah. but this is the truth. It's not just a cliche. You can become anything, yeah, anything that's possible. Do not give up. The world needs you. There's a reason God invested that passion in you. God doesn't waste his resources that's and he put it in you. God believes in you. God is waiting for you. The world is waiting for you. You are valuable. You are needed, and there's a space for you to not give up. Thank you so much. Thank you. You know what? Like I've learned so much. <sighs> I feel like this particular interview. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so sweet. Like you're Thank so warm. You. you won't believe. Like this is actually the first time I'm I meeting know, Teddy. I know, I've been following her for the longest time, oh. and we've been communicating. Thank you know. so much, Teddy, for Thank being you. here. Thank you for sharing your wealth of knowledge with us. Your thank journey, you. your story is so inspiring. Like oh, I wish you all you. the best. Like thank you. you. Like you already said, you know, you're not made for local. You're made for international. You know, so I really wish you all the best thank in you. your business.
talents and everything that thank we do. You so thank you so much, Terry. Thank, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Please Come beg on. them to subscribe. Uh uh, you guys know. Tell you them. guys know. Show us <laughs> love now. <laughs> Show us love. After all this content. Please send yeah. it to your family members, your friends, your foes, your yeah. boyfriend, Everybody. your ex boy. Everybody. Everybody. The cockroach in your house. <laughs> Everybody, they need to subscribe, bro. Wherever Honestly. you're watching from in the world. Yes. Eki is so determined. Thank you. So, so hardworking. <laughs> Like I'm so so proud of her. I'm Thank inspired you. by how hard working and yeah, relentless <laughs> she is. So you guys please support Thank her you. dreams. Thank support you. her channel. Like Thank do you. unto her as you only want to do to exactly. you. Exactly. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Exactly. So please. just click subscribe as right you're watching now. like that. Right now. Uh -huh. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you so much guys. Thank you so much for watching this particular episode of Conversation with Eki. Um, you already know, Tanya has begged you already. Please subscribe, like this video, drop your comments, you know, do everything to just support Eki. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys in my next episode. Mwah, 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 Thank mwah. you, Tanya. Thank you. Hey, we did it. <laughs> I know. We did it.